We hustled toward the east porch, trying to beat the full force of the coming rain. Still, I managed to take in that view of the house, its handsome brick and double-storied windows. I couldn't help but imagine black hands, too, sunk in mortar. My Monticello. The words formed low and unbidden in my throat. Terry Allard here with Charlottesville Inside Out. Today I'm spending time with author and former public school art teacher, Jocelyn Nicole Johnson, to talk about life in our community and her acclaimed book, My Monticello, which is on track to be a Netflix movie. Come on. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so the novella is getting made into a movie, which is was not anything on my radar uh, ever in a million years. and. But it's really exciting, right? Um, but also it's just really fun to see another, you know, someone else writing the screenplay and to see another creator, like, adapt and think about what you made and how your idea goes out into the world and becomes other things. The book, My Manicello, is five stories in a novella, all set in my home state of Virginia. And a really big question for me was about um, this idea of home, right? So Virginia is kind of unequivocally my home. It's my home state. But I was thinking about the ways in which I feel at home and the ways in which sometimes I don't feel quite at home. And so an example of that, um, it was inspired in part by August 12th here in Charlottesville, where we, our town was kind of the unwitting host of a, a white nationalist rally, a violent rally, thinking about how to respond to that, right? So one way I responded to this event, this public event, was writing, writing about it, writing a novella about it, responding in words and and fiction. I think there's a way in which home becomes like a habit. So having been here before, having built relationships here, um, ha our son was born here. So our, we bought a home here. So this kind of became home. And now my parents have moved here. So it's back to that idea of home. It's like I've taught here for many, many years. I have all these students that I've known here. And so um, it's a really familiar place, right? We have all these roots here. I'm always up for hearing people talk about making art and going and seeing people's Art. And so we have really great organizations here around all kinds of arts. We have like live arts for theater. We have the film festival that comes here, the festival of the book, which is wonderful and gone and seen, you know, all kinds of authors and panels about topics that I'm interested in. There are a ton of writers here. And for me, um, going to places like Writer House, the local um, nonprofit that supports writers here and taking classes uh, and workshops there, and then, for example, one of my workshop teachers ended up starting a writing group, in, which I was a, have been in for over 10 years, you know, just from taking that class, meeting people there, and kind of building that relationship. What I find really helpful is you kind of have to not worry about outcome so much and worry about the process. So what am I curious about here? Um, what sounds and feels right? And, you know, there's a lot of asking yourself questions and then living life and then pulling in how life. So the things that happen around you, the conversation you have with your neighbor, the storm that blows through, <laughs> you're, you know, getting in a fender bender at the Wegmans or whatever, all those things are going to influence how the story unfolds, but it's all under the kind of the umbrella of these questions you're asking yourself, these big questions.